You are now dreaming. Your dream bot is awake and active. Obliquely foreshadow future through interpretive dance. Your silly dance foreshadows nothing and is essentially meaningless. But it sure is a lot of fun. Jade, quick, get into bed. You climb into bed and try to get comfortable. But some sort of invisible force is pressing down on you. A strange feeling of cold, heavy metal. This happens every time you try to get into bed. No wonder you can never get any sleep. Realize you can fly. There is not much to realize. Of course you can fly. Jade, open package. You stop all this flying around nonsense and examine John's birthday package. Unfortunately, you cannot open it yet. This package has an important journey to make first. You are planning on delivering it momentarily. Good thing you already know what is inside. Otherwise, you would surely be consumed by curiosity and suspense. You sincerely pity anyone who might be forced to endure such a fate. Months in the past. Enough for the above weather to be seasonably reconcilable. Hey, happy birthday, Jade! Yay, thank you, John! Huh, <sighs> okay, I got your present in the mail just on time. Plus, I sent roses and daves too. Why do your guys' birthdays gotta be all bunched together like that? You're running me ragged! <laughs> I know, but it's nice of you to think of us all like that. I can't wait for you to see what I got you. I don't want to spoil it or anything, but hopefully it'll help you solve with those problems you've been having lately. Mysterious wink. I'm sure it is great. I can't wait either. It might take a while to get here from there, but it'll be worth the wait. Oh man, I'm such an idiot. I forgot how long it takes for you to get stuff. Ah! John, that's really okay. I'm sure it'll get to me exactly when it needs to, and it will be a nice surprise when it does. Okay, well, I hope so. <laughs> uh, hold on. Okay, I'm back. Sorry. I had to tell someone to go away. Oh god, the trolls again? Yep. They've been such a pain in the ass lately. Seems like there are so many. There's, there are either like 50 of those retards or one guy with a, t with a lot of alt accounts. I've never had any sort of feeling about them or what they want, which is kind of weird. But it seems to me like they're probably all different people and not one guy. I've counted 12! What do they want with us? Some people just like to needle others for some reason, John. It is like a game, I guess. They're like pranksters! Oh hell no, shittiest pranksters ever! But... I think they are mostly harmless. Every so often they manage to get through my block filter and hassle me. It's been going on for years! Actually, some of them are kind of funny, I think. <laughs> Oh wow, what, years? Okay, well I'm sick of them. I've been thinking of changing my password jump handle to throw them off trail, so I guess I'm gonna do that. You have already carved a few totems, but you have had to return to the living room for more Crooksite dows. Your carving work is not nearly complete. Every time you re-enter your room, you shudder at the recent handiwork of some mischievous imps. You can't just turn your back on them for a second. Rotten imps. Those posters were like children to you. Rose, flee the room. At long last, you have returned to your bedroom with a stable power supply and internet connection. Vodka Mutini purrs at your side. You suppose you will call it Muti for short? That's quite a totem collection. What are you planning? Oh, whoa, hi! Oh, gonna make some stuff. Are you okay? Hasn't your house been on fire for like, five hours now? No, that was the nearby forest, which, up until quite recently, would have been best described as on fire. But you may be excited to learn that just as recently, my house finally notched that achievement. Wow, congrats, I guess. Thank you. Have you seen Dave? 
Nah, his bro's probably busy kicking his ass. That's probably all there is to say on the matter. Okay, I'm gonna start putting this grist to use too. Let's be sparing with the frivolous knick-knack breeding and focus on getting you up to the gate, okay? Yeah, okay, I hear you, bud. I think we'll have plenty. I've been killing imps all over the house, and now it's lousy with gushers. Gushers? I mean, grist. Serves them right for ruining my posters, the bastards. Which posters? Don't you see? My sweet movie posters. Look at them. They're fucking ruined! John? Are you suggesting that imps are responsible for defacing your movie posters? Um, yeah? Your posters have looked like that ever since I first saw your room. The moment we started playing this game. I thought you had defaced them ironically to mark your father's interests. John? Very funny, Rose! <laughs> nice joke! Great joke there, Rose! Top of the line prank! <laughs> yes! This is good. Laughter is probably the best way to avoid being especially melodramatic about the revelation. Yes! Yes! Let's keep this joke going, because it's such a good one! <laughs> oh my! <laughs> Wayward Vagabond, descend! You cannot descend from the top of your mobile station. The loose cable you gathered up and tied together is not yet long enough to allow you to reach the ground safely. You have used all the cable you can find. You will have to come up with another plan. It is suggested you sacrifice your mayoral sash for more cables. Absolutely not! What are you, crazy?! A mayor does not relinquish its mayoral sash under any circumstances ever, period! Wayward Vagabond, and purify the temple. That is such a dumb idea. Not as dumb as using your sash, but it comes close. That temple is way too big. You probably just end up purifying a chunk of useless, boring rock. Wait, what's that? There's something dangling from the top of one of the towers, near the temple. Now, command Serenity to carry the rope to you. She is a tiny insect and cannot possibly lift more than the weight of a pumpkin seed. She does, however, inform you of what the ledge contains through a series of informative blinks. There is an old rusty harpoon lodged into the crumbling rock. Tied to it is a bunched up jumble of handy cable. This strikes you as convenient. It is almost as if someone knew you would need a bunch of cable, and that you would have a mayoral sash made out of cable, and that you were particularly attached to that mayoral sash and would stubbornly refuse to use it. Anyone who knew that would surely possess a special gift. Alas, it seems a bit far-fetched. Now, Wayward Vagabond, get ye rope. Okay, we just established it was a cable, not a rope. But that's okay. You take a hasty swig from one of your delicious pawns and put it down. You then quickly adjust the coordinates to a purify the jumble of handy cable. Um. Oh, of course. The time wasn't set to the present moment. Somehow it got reset to a few hundred years ago. It is some sort of present from the past. In the present. Attached is an envelope. It looks extremely important. You open the envelope. Inside is a letter and another envelope. This is all highly confusing, and you do not know what to make of it. Still, it is obvious critical mayoral business which you take very seriously, and you will defend this package with your life. Now, try to purify the cable again. You set the time to the present, and purify the jumble of cable. Now, take the obvious course of action. You tie all the cable together, and carefully lower your precious pumpkin bindle. You then rappel down the station with the package, which must not leave your side. Years in the future, which is to say, the present moment precisely.
aimless renegade prepares for company. Now, Rose, build as much as you can, as fast as you can. Okay, well, I make some stuff here. Can you keep an eye out for the imps? Just keep the safer tub handy or something. It'll serve them right for trashing my posters. I keep telling you, the posters were always like that. And I keep telling you, haha, very funny! Here, look. Yeah, I saw those, but they didn't look like that before. You must have changed them. Even if I had the motive for such a bizarre and pointless deception, where would I find the time? I don't even have Photoshop. Then why didn't you tell me they were there? I had no reason to think you were not aware of them. I thought they were strange, certainly, but was not struck by any particular impulse to discuss them. Okay, it still doesn't make sense, though, implying that I drew them a while ago, and then forgot, and couldn't see them, and now suddenly see them. That's stupid, what would that even mean? It looks like you were in your father's room recently. Yeah. And how did it make you feel to discover what was in there? Oh no, I just realized! You are going to psychotherapify me! Well, don't bother! Maybe. I am just being a friend. Maybe. I suspiciously. Anyway, I guess you saw what's in there. It's boring and there's not much even to see. That doesn't matter. What matters is how seeing it affected you. I think it clearly has in some way. Well, I don't know. At first I was nervous to go in and find more, more of his weird clowns. Because of course they're stupid and I hate them a lot. But then when I didn't see any, it was weird. I felt weirdly, like, disappointed almost. Is it fair to say this changed your perception? Of your father. Yeah, I guess. Is it such a stretch to conclude it changed your perception of other things as well? Ah, uh, no, maybe not. But what are you getting at? Sounds like you're saying I'm crazy. I don't like to use the word crazy. Oh god, see? This is therapy bullshit! That was a joke. But anyway, whether it means you're crazy or not, consider this theory. Your presumably long-standing tendency for scrawling this imagery is really your subconscious trying to express something disturbing within you. Possibly something from your past which you have blocked out, and since you have suppressed it, your conscious self cannot acknowledge the drawings. Therefore, they have been invisible until now. Why now? Perhaps because you have seen evidence that conflicts with the worldview your subconscious has constructed to obfuscate the truth. That your dad is not necessarily the clown-loving maniac you thought he was. All along, this negative attribute buried in your psyche may have been projected onto him, and subsequently reviled as a sort of defense mechanism. But this is absurd! My dad loves those shitty clowns! He's got all these statues and paintings everywhere! Is it unthinkable that over the years it was he who believed you were the one with the passion for clowns? Because of all the strange drawings in your room. A father then embraces a son's hobby to establish a stronger bond, or wages a campaign of passive-aggressive mockery of your interests. Either is plausible, I don't know your dad that well. I don't know. Not sure about all this. But I think we need to stop and acknowledge the bunny sassacre fedora I just made. It's awesome. Yeah. Wow, what are you doing, by the way? Rose, sorry to say, but this is all looking kinda silly. I'm trying to spread the upward construction around, so there is a more substantial foundation for later on. But I'm starting to wonder if it will be strong enough. It's kind of starting to wobble a little. I don't think brick chimneys were meant to serve this architectural purpose. Yeah, no shit. I might have to adopt a different building strategy. Stick to more load-bearing walls and blockier shapes. Especially since Gris has been easier to come by lately. Okay, but you must really be running low on time now, right? Right. STRIDER! Jade, dream up extra arms and play an advanced bass solo.
Now, Jade, change the wardrobe fire to cycle through Star Heart Horseshoe. Okay, good idea. You leave the moon in the cycle, though, because you like it. Jade, it is suggested that you go explore the Golden City. Now, go and make a new friend. Wayward Vagabond, eat letter and envelope. Will you cut that out? You have company. Look behind you. See? Over there. Dear Mr. Mayor, go here. Get present. Hooray! Oh, please do this. The freedom of your people depends on it. Your friend. Now give her the present! Hooray!